Hey y'all, it's Coach K and I want to welcome you to episode 79 of the Stimulus Package. Today, we're talking about learning to yield upward. All right, so it's very, very, very clear that we're all going to inherit some issues. We're going to have some kind of turbulent moments or craziness that's going to happen in our lives. Like the rocky moments are going to happen. So I think that it's really important that we all acknowledge that. Like, go ahead and acknowledge that we're going to have some crazy stuff happening that's going to cause us to say, I hate it here. <laughs> I hate it here. But I want you to understand that it's okay to acknowledge that and to understand that I want you to know that it's okay to acknowledge it and feel that way at times, but you have to also understand that even though you're going through a rocky patch or you're going through a rocky year or years, like a drought, <laughs> know that you're not in this alone and that God is definitely with you. The fact that you're still here and you're sustaining throughout all the chaos is evidence that God is actively working on your behalf. Um, I think that one of the biggest things that we must do whenever we're dealing with issues or rocky moments or craziness is um, not to want to retreat or run so fast. Like sometimes some of the things that we go through are put in place by God to help us stretch, help us grow, help us evolve and understand him better as well as discover our level of faith in who we are better. Um, sometimes it's very necessary for us to get in these sticky moments. I think about it with sports. Like my Cowboys got beat to smithereens last week, right? <laughs> But I kept telling myself this loss was necessary because sometimes when you're cruising throughout life and when you're cruising and things are going well, you get a little comfortable or you start to feel like, I got this, it's me. Or like, everything's working out. I think that I got this and that, um, that I'm in a good space. And yes, although you may be in a good space, there's always room to grow. And I think that God is always constantly thinking about how he can stretch us and help us to be better vessels and better people and better servant leaders. And in order to do that, we need experience and we need to also go through the, the trials and tribulations a little bit so that we can understand who he is and what he can do and how valuable our experiences are to be able to use them as reference points. So this week, I just want to encourage you to really yield upward. And what I mean by that is surrender to God and seek him first, especially when you're in a crazy moment. This needs to be something that you do religiously all the time anyway, so that whenever you get in a moment like this, you already know what to do. Yield upward. Surrender your own understanding. Surrender the problem, the issue. Let it be known. Use your voice. Talk to God about it. Um, but do not run from the uncomfortable moments and the, the craziness of it all. Sit there, go through the process, and understand that you just might find the answer you've been looking for in the eye of the storm. So just really, really focus on being present, staying 10 toes down, brace yourself, get yourself together, and just weather the storm because as many times as you exit early, you're not getting the lesson that you need to get. And the more that you exit early, the more of these situations you're going to have to go through. So you may as well just stay in it, do what you got to do, and really, you know, build your relationship stronger with God throughout that craziness and throughout the goodness too. But yeah, this week, I want you to understand that closed mouths don't get fed. And whenever things get hard, the, the mission is not to run and retreat, it's to stick it out stand firm and believe that God is going to work it out and know that you are not alone in it. God is always with you. He's always working on your behalf, even when it doesn't look like it. And that's the major key. Although you may be going through certain things and you're believing God and you understanding that he's with you, you have to understand that just because the reality of what's happening doesn't look like how you pictured it to look, that doesn't mean that God isn't working. God has the power to do what he's going to do. And he also has the seniority to illustrate it the way he wants to. So just because it doesn't look like it's something that's helping you, it very may well be the very thing that's stretching you and creating a new version of lion or lioness in you. So 
just stay the course, y'all. I love y'all. And until next time, stay focused, trust God, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. Be sure to come follow us at Level 27 Coaching on all social media platforms. And also, come join our Spark Plug Club at www.level27coaching.com. Y'all, be sure to come check out our podcast episode every Wednesday. It's available everywhere that podcasts are, are available. And be sure to subscribe and follow us. All right. Love y'all. Have a good day. And I will talk to y'all next week. Bye.